Students in high schools across the country plan to walk out of their classrooms in support of gun safety. This is in response to the Florida school shooting. The walkout has created dilemmas among school districts about how they should handle this. This week, Chesapeake Public Schools put out a letter. They're OK with the walkout at their high schools as long as parents are OK with it. Robert Boyd has our story. Well, earlier tonight, I spoke with a member of the Grassfield High School Student Council, and she says this is exactly what the student body wanted for each family to make their own choice as to whether or not students walk out of class next week for this cause. Nationally, it's being advertised as a protest. Enough. National school walkout to end gun violence. And that's where the controversy begins. I know in Texas, like they're threatening to suspend students for three days if they um, left the school at any time for any, you know, demonstrations or anything. Jillian Grant, like hundreds of her Grassfield High School classmates, wants to join the movement, but is worried what could happen. If we were to do it, you know, what kind of consequences would we face? Or how would they explain to their college that, you know, they got suspended for doing something that they believed in? So this week, Chesapeake Public School said they are willing to work with the students planning their own walkout called We Stand with Stoneman, in honor of those 17 people killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on February 14th. They're trying to not be political about it because, you know, schools aren't allowed to be. It's more of a memoriam of we're going out there and they're going to read off the names of the 17 lives lost. We're going to have a moment of silence and time just to kind of reflect on what happened. The school's policy is pretty simple. If the student has a letter of permission signed by their parent or guardian, they will be allowed to walk out. And if they don't have permission, they must remain in class. Well, I think it's good to put it in the parents' hands, you know, and have their support as well. Stephanie Creekmore appreciates how the school district is handling the situation and will be signing her daughter's permission slip. But other parents disagree. I, I don't think they should condone it. Um, I think it's kind of a waste of time. Jason Brunson says he doesn't care what the school calls it. A walkout is a walkout and he will not be signing his daughter's permission slip. I just don't think shutting schools down uh, over a protest is, is a good idea in general. Chesapeake Public Schools declined to comment for this story. In Chesapeake, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.